Ari, go ahead. Uh, Coach, it was a real team effort today. Eight of the nine starters recorded a hit. What did you see from from them today, bouncing back off two tough losses over the weekend? Yeah, I thought mindset was in a better spot. That was the message last night. Uh, we have a long way to go on that with um, some young players and even some of the returners, you know, losing the season. Um, but I thought they responded well. I mean, the, the hay was in the barn as far as uh, Saturday and Sunday, there was nothing we could do about it. I was pleased to see us uh, do what we needed to do to be successful today. Despite facing some tough starters a series, none of them pitched more than four innings. What does that say about the composure and just ability to make pitchers work that this lineup can really do against anybody? I think we did it some of the time. Um, I, I wouldn't give us the A by any stretch, but you're right, um, particularly Saturday. Um, you know, against a guy that'll be um, probably a pretty high draft pick, you know, top three rounder to, to get him out in the third inning, um, I think was a bonus or not a bonus. It was a good job. I think we obviously could have done a heck of a lot better yesterday. And, um, you know, today we did a good job that the Johnson kid's going to be a pretty good pitcher. Um, so, yeah, it's something we got to keep working on. It's, it's a staple and um, we got to play to our identity because when we do, we have a lot of success. We don't. We we obviously made it really hard on ourselves. Hi, Jay. What do you think? Sorry, Kelly. Go ahead. Sorry. Hi, Jay. What do you think you've learned about your team during their first series? A lot. Um, that how important um, communication is, and and really having the pieces aligned properly. You're going to learn some things. Uh, I said it yesterday. I don't ever want it to come at the expense of winning, but I do feel a lot more like I have a lot more understanding of where some of the pieces fit than I did going into the series. And some things were exposed that we need to work on and get better. And I think some things were exposed in terms of how to mix and match some of the personnel and how we line that up. And so that's the positive I'm going to take from it. I'm very disappointed um, in the weekend and that's to take nothing away from Ball State. Um, I think that's a very good team. I think it's an excellent pitching staff. I think they have some really gritty and tough minded position players that they're going to win a lot of games. I'm, I'm just disappointed and we left a lot on the table in terms of what we could have accomplished. So we got to take the positive of that and what we need to do to improve from here. Michael Lev, go ahead. Uh, TJ Nichols uh, battled, I would say, for every inning he was out there. The only clean inning he had was the last one. What did you see out of his performance? I thought he had really good composure. And some, some of the pitching this weekend, uh, some guys allowed it to snowball on them when something went bad. And TJ didn't do that. He stayed present pitch to pitch. He's certainly got a tremendous amount of ability. I thought he executed pretty well. I was most improved that he had traffic on the bases, but he never let anything get away from him. I mean, he's an outstanding player. I mean, that's matched by his character and the type of person he is. And he'll do a lot of great things for us here. And I'm sure that'll be the first of many wins for him. How big a play was the, the line drive that he caught and then doubled the guy off at third? Most, most important play of the game, for sure. Considering how the last couple of days went, most important play of the game. Sure, Jacob Barry, you had talked about him in the preseason. He was, I think, 0 for 6 coming into today, but then, you know, 3 for 3 with a walk, coming through with runners on base. What did you think of his breakout today? I thought he's, just, he's been a little more settled in each day. Um, was not settled at all on Friday. Had a really tough night Friday night. I thought his at-bats were better on Saturday even though he didn't come up with any hits and obviously it was a huge part of the win today and, and putting good swings on good pitches and managing the zone and, and showed some glimpses of what he's capable of. And, you know, he's going to continue to need to improve and, and hopefully again, just like TJ, he'll be a big part of a lot of winning as we move forward. You operated from the dugout today instead of third base. What was the thought process behind making that change? Communication, improve communication with the players and improve communication with uh, the coaching staff so that we were in the position that I want us to be in relative to 
approach uh, relative to in-game adjustments, relative to personnel. Have you ever done that before as a coach? And do you see that being the plan going forward? The last time I did it was 2005. <laughs> so um, that's been a long time ago. Uh, it will be the plan for now, for sure. Um, I think we operated better. I mean, that's, I don't think that's the reason we won, but I'm a lot more settled with the communication, you know, coach to player, coach to staff. Christian Mortensen, go ahead. What's going on, coach? Uh, hey, my, Christian. My question is, how do you feel about Dante's performance the last couple of days? I know you slotted him a little bit lower in the lineup. How do you think he's reacted and how do you feel about him today? Yeah, I think he struggled uh, for the better part of this weekend. And, um, you know, I know his, his toughness. I know his character. I expect him to bounce back. Um, you know, we'll get some good work in here. Uh, one of the next two days, because one of the days will be a day off, but um, he'll be fine. I mean, it's going to be a huge part of what we're doing. He's one of the best defensive center fielders out there. Uh, really is is kind of an, an engine moving piece to our, our offense. And um, if I remember correctly, he's gotten better as we've kind of gone along the last couple seasons. And so some guys, it takes a little bit to settle in, whether you know we like that or not. I mean, Brandon's kind of the same way, and I thought he put together uh, his best at bats from the back half of the game yesterday through today. And um, I expect those guys, you know, Jacob Blass and all of them that were kind of just okay this weekend to improve, and that'll improve our chances of winning. Yeah, just one more. Um, can you tell us how fast TJ's throwing or no? Uh, I, did, I haven't got any radar guns. I mean, he's been up to 98 in an inter-squad game uh, very consistently. Uh, 94 to 96. I don't know what any of the readings were today, though. Thank you. Matt Moreno. Hey, Coach. Uh, often, hey, you talk, hey, often you talk about taking value out of kind of every experience. What do you want your players to take out of uh, this weekend's experience against Ball State? You know, I, I've said it before, the, the difficulty in winning and valuing winning. Um, you know, it's it's not the team with the best players. It's a team that plays the best, um, you know, outside of Silseth, um, you know, we, we probably could have got better pitching. I thought Murphy settled in, um, bullpen, um, you know, we, we'll get that lined up. I, I, I think that I really believe that's going to be the strength of our team, but, um, you know, preparation, you know, not, I don't want to say anybody took anything for granted, but just the importance of being prepared, um, so that, you know, you take the field with peace of mind. You know, I really want these guys to play with peace of mind. And, um, you know, hopefully we got some of that new season, haven't been out there in a long time type of vibes, if you will, out of the deal and we can settle in and play. I mean, it's not getting any easier. I mean, we've got a hellacious schedule, which is, is good. Uh, I do think that a lot of the games are going to be like you saw this weekend relative to, um, you know, the name on the chest isn't going to, win or lose a game. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to be about the play. And I think we're going to have a chance just like we were this weekend to be in every game. You know, would I feel a little differently about the result side of it? Had we just finished off the game, we should have won on Saturday hundred percent. I would feel different about it. Um, with that being said, the play is still the play and there's things that we got to get better at. And that's what we'll, we'll get to work on here this week. Ari, you got another question? Uh, Coach, you touched on it, but looking forward to this weekend, the four-game series against Southeastern Louisiana, who just scored 66 runs in three games. What can you say about them and what you're expecting them to bring to the table? Yeah, um, they're a, I don't know if they're a perennial NCAA tournament team, but they've been to the NCAA tournament numerous times. Uh, they're one of the top two programs in the Southland Conference. Um, Matt Reiser, their coach, is a great coach. Um, high energy, tough minded guy. So I know they'll be competitive. They put up a lot of runs this weekend I saw, but I don't think they gave up any either. I think their team is known for their pitching staff. So again, we're gonna have to be better this weekend than we were this last weekend. Um, I expect a highly competitive, highly intense, uh, close games. All right, thank you, coach. Thank you guys. Thanks coach.
All right, we have Jacob Berry here. Questions for Jacob Berry, raise your hand, please. Michael Love, go ahead. Hey there, Jacob, how's it going? How you doing? Good, thank you. What did it feel like to get your first collegiate hit today? Uh, it was very exciting. I was a little less anxious today, so it was really helpful. And I guess achieving that. Sure, how, how did that change in terms of your emotions happen? Is it just getting a couple games under your belt? Did you just feel more relaxed out there? I felt that getting a few games helped and also just kind of playing the game, not pressing as much today as I have been the last few days. So a few games definitely helped and me just realizing it's baseball and just relaxing and just playing the game today. Sure, the team as a whole did a lot better with runners on base and Jay said yesterday that it seemed like guys were pressing. What was sort of the mental exercise that he wanted you guys to do or, or the change in mindset that he was alluding to? How did you guys go about kind of improving that area? I think today we were just a little bit more present in the moment, not trying to do too much as, a, as one person or an individual. I think we all just tried to score one run, don't try to do too much or make a big hit bigger than it is or a big situation bigger than it is. We just continue to play hard and just kind of executed our plan at the plate. What position did you play primarily in high school? I played all over in high school. I played third base, shortstop, first base, and outfield. Okay. How do you feel like your defense has come along at third? I feel like I have a lot of room to improve, but I, since I've gotten here, I've made big strides. I believe I have my, my defensive ability around third base and just everywhere, I think. So what did you think of uh, TJ Nichols' performance today? I thought it was awesome. I think he's a great competitor. and. I think there's more to come too. He's it's his first outing. I think he's gonna continue to compete and do well for us. Jay said that he thought the double play, the one where TJ caught the line drive and threw to you at third, was the biggest play of the game. Do you agree with that? I 100% agree with that. That we in that part of the game, it was a close game. I think it was two to three, and that got us out of a tight spot. And we still ended up scoring the next inning. But if he doesn't make that play, I don't know if the game really turns the way it does. We did today. So we could hear somebody, I think, was like yelling, let's go, or something like that right after that happened. Was that him, or was that you? It was. That was him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought so. OK, thank you. Questions for Jacob? Go ahead again, Michael. What does it mean for the team to salvage the split here? It obviously wasn't what you were hoping for, but it's better than you know losing three out of four, which would have been the case if you lost today. Um, I think today we just had to come and play today. We couldn't really remember or kind of take yesterday into account. We just had to come today and come prepared. I mean, I think we need to do that. We probably should have done that this weekend, but we just got in our head a little bit. And I think today we refocused and played well. So what do you take out of your first weekend as a college baseball player? What did you learn? just to slow down and it's the same game, just a little bit faster, a little bit balls are hit a little bit harder and a little bit better pitchers. Sure, were you really nervous on Friday? Yes, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I was so much nervous, but I was just anxious to make something happen when I couldn't do that. I just gotta let the game come to me. Sure, what did it feel like, like the first time you stepped up to the plate on Friday? Uh, I was just trying to hit the ball about 500 feet when all I needed to do was Barrel the ball. Got it. Thank you. Jacob, we're all set. Thank you. I've got today's starting pitcher and winning pitcher, TJ Nichols. Questions for TJ? Christian Mortensen, go ahead. What's going on, TJ? Uh, how'd you feel about your performance today, college collegiate debut and all? Felt like it went well. Um, I was composed on the mound. I was out of the stretch the whole time, um, which is something I've been working on. But I felt like it went well. I worked well with Caden uh, Hobson back there, and we got it done. So I'm very, very grateful. Michael Love, go ahead. You alluded to working out of the stretch a lot, which means you had base runners, you were, had to battle out there. What's your sort of mentality in those situations? 
Right. Um, I just knew I had to compete. They're a good hitting team. Um, they're scrappy. Um, so I just knew I, I had to compete and uh, just make every pitch count. So that's that was my mindset. It was obviously really important for the team to get back on track today. Did you put any added pressure on yourself because of that? I don't think so. Um, a lot of the veteran, guy, veteran guys talked to me yesterday saying there's no pressure. Just go out there and pitch your game and you're going to be fine. Um, so that's what I did and I prepared well, stayed disciplined and uh, was successful. Sure, you're really good friends with Daniel Susak, right? From way back in the day. Yeah, I grew up actually five minutes away from Daniel and I uh, grew up playing travel ball with him. So yeah, we're really good friends. Would you have liked him to have been your catcher today for your first game? Um, to me, it doesn't really matter. Um, every catcher I have a personal connection with, and I think that um, whoever they send out there, I'm gonna I'm gonna play well with. Um, and it was Hoppy's it was it was Hoppy's uh, chance to shine. So I just I thought it, he did a great job. Um, he fired me up in the first inning with that uh, that he hosed that runner, and uh, that fired me up a little bit. So yeah, it was awesome. You came here as a two way player, and I'm sure it's still something that could be happening down the road, but how does it feel to sort of settle in as a pitcher, at least at this point in your career? It feels good. Um, just focusing on one thing I think is going to help me. Coach Yeski, best coach in the nation. Um, he's going to get me to where I, where I can be. So uh, yeah, I'm grateful um, that we made that switch. Christian Mortensen, go ahead. Yeah. TJ, what can you say about that play in the third inning? Runners on second and third, comebacker right at you, caught it, turn around, throw to third. What can you say about the emotion and just how important that play was? That was a huge play. I already gave up two in the inning um, and knew we had to make a play, knew how to make a pitch. Um, I saw it come, out, come back at me. It wasn't hit hard, but I got it. And then uh, thankfully Barry was there at third and we got it done. So fired me up. Michael Lev, go ahead. How did you know which base to throw to in that situation? Do you just look for the lead runner first and foremost? Yeah, that was just my instinct. I just flipped around and I saw him a little bit off, so I just chucked it over there. Sure. And did you realize kind of the significance of the moment? Uh, I think it was three to two at that point, and the momentum was maybe shifting a little bit. It was a big moment. Um, I don't think at the time I realized it. I just stayed composed and I knew how to make that pitch. Um, and thankfully, it was hit right back at me, so we got it done. Sure, it's freshman to freshman combination there. Jacob had a really good game too. Um, what does it say about the potential for this class to have an impact, you know, on this season? Yeah, Barry's phenomenal. Um, great player, great teammate. Um, I know he started off slow, but that's not going to phase him. He's a great hitter. Um, our freshman class, and even some of the junior college guys that are coming in, they're going to be impactful. And I know we have a lot. We have a lot more to show um, and bouncing back from two losses. I think we did a good job today and um, yeah, good team win. Sure, he talked about having to slow himself down and how nervous he was on Friday and trying to hit a 500 foot home run and that sort of thing. Did you feel sped up at all when you first got out there and did it take a little while to, to settle in? Um, I don't think I was too sped up. I thought I thought I was I was doing okay, and then Hoppy threw out that runner, and that was when the adrenaline really kicked in, um, and I got a little wound up right there. But calmed back down and got the got the third out. So, any more questions for TJ? All right, thank you, TJ. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.